most people tend to go look at houses first, right? First, we have to do the research, come up with the business plan. I think this is what it is. Then go look at the real, uh, reality and then modify. So Elizabeth Barro, right? You you guys were here because you're new to mastery, obviously, right? Yes, yes. And uh, we were just doing the business planning meeting. Right. So what was what is your takeaway for you, right? What are your action items that you got out of the conversation we just had? Right. Well, my takeaway is you made me think outside my box or look at plans because we're moving to San Antonio. So making us look at areas that not necessarily we want, but necessarily what's good for the business. And that's something that I never thought of. So it's great looking in what you see into putting it into um, an area for us. So point one would be, it's not the areas you're going to live in, right. right? You can live in a great area, but maybe the area next door makes more money, right? right? So looking at it as a business versus the area I'm gonna li live in, because generally we look at that. So that was point one, right? right. That first you're gonna start with the demographics, Correct. right? Then what was the second takeaway for you? For me was, I don't know, what was it for you? Well, I'll let I, you well, I, kinda, I kinda got out of the well, hey, you have to do your research. You know, right. you obviously mm -hmm. you, you look for location, you, you look for demographics, what kind of folks are gonna actually live in there? Right. So, the, the demographics, the, the the type of money that people are making there, and uh, just what's around the area that's going to suit the people that are going to actually live there. Right. And so I know you're very young. He's getting grayer, right? <laughs> so, no, but I mean, so, and this is something we talked about that, hey, based on your age, right? right you got five years, right. right? You have to set yourself up in the next five years right. to be in a position where you have, you know, 15, 20,000 net income coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Part of it, you said, hey, I have a 401k, right? Um, I'm gonna roll that over and do lending from it, Probably. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then you understood what we're talking about. Uh, how much interest rate are you basically gonna get this year? 16%. 16%, 16 right? Yes. So you're gonna do basically lending from your IRA, Correct. safe, secure people, mm -hmm. right? And then for your investing, you do the same thing, right? right. You borrow money from private money lenders, right. Uh, from people that hopefully you can lend to other people, they can lend to you, right? So that's another way of creating one. So that becomes one source of income for you. Right. Second is building a rental portfolio, right. right? And initially when you came in talking about, well, I want to do this new construction, right? Right. <laughs> right. That And my suggestion to you is that, hey, stay away from it. Not that you can't do it, right? just not yet, not yet. Not, not, right? Not you got to graduate to that. So th does that make sense? Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Right? No, so the second thing we talked about is you got to come back, right? Right. That there's a plan of action, mm -hmm. right? So number one, what are you going to do? Do the research, look at areas, the demographics, and then highlight the areas. Right. So you're going to order a physical map, Correct. right? Highlight all the areas. You're going to do the research. Right. You're going to come up with an opinion. Right. And then we're going to review that, exactly. right? Because what the whole point is, and then you're going to do that physically in San Antonio, yeah. Yeah. right? Yes. That way you're like, okay, this is what I think. This is reality. Right. Now we go looking for houses, right? Most people tend to go look at houses first, mm -hmm. right? First, we have to do the research, come up with the business plan. I think this is what it is. Then go look at the real, uh, reality and then modify. Right. So, so far, did you get... Something out of it today? Oh, for 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 sure. Because for example, for us, if I wouldn't have this conversation with you, I would have done exactly that. Look at properties, right? And not right. really the demographics. Like, oh, is this a good buy? And not really re understanding the area that I'm buying. I do know San Antonio, and I knew the the pockets that are good. And but I probably would have gone for the areas that are really good, not really the Hispanic areas that are kind of in the middle income. So it totally changes my mind frame. The perspective, of, yeah. yeah. So that was another thing we talked about, right? Like you're Hispanic mm -hmm. in terms of culturally, right? Look in Hispanic areas. Mm -hmm. A lot of Hispanic areas are phenomenal mm -hmm. for owning good quality rental properties because right. Hispanic people generally have larger families, mm -hmm. right? They care about families. So they generally, even though they may not have a ton of income, they always make rent, right? right? Mm -hmm. Because they take pride in the home they live in. Correct. Right. And so why go looking at 50 other areas? Right. You you work on your strengths. And in this case, happens to be you understand the Hispanic community. Right. Go invest in those areas. Right. Absolutely.
So right. super thrilled to have you guys here. Yeah. Thank Hope you. you guys got something yeah. out of it. Yeah, Talk absolutely. to you soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care.